In a closed hearing in Madrid, the man at the centre of souring ties between Morocco and Spain testified by video link. Justicia! Outside the High Court, protesters accused Brahim Ghali of having blood on his hands. Justicia! Justicia! The leader of Western Sahara's independence movement, the Polisario Front, is seen by Morocco as a war criminal. He's currently receiving medical care for COVID-19 in a hospital in northern Spain. His treatment in the country's enraged the Moroccan government. Ghali, who's also the president of the Sahrawi Democratic Arab Republic, a self-declared state, has been accused of torture and genocide by Polisario dissidents and human rights groups. The presiding judge will decide after he completes his investigation whether to charge or dismiss the lawsuits against him, but rejected a prosecution request for Ghali to be taken into custody. Ghali's lawyer said the accusations are categorically untrue. President Ghali, eh, terminado... President Ghali believes this lawsuit is politically motivated to try, once again, to undermine the dignity and credibility of the Sahrawi people and their struggle towards self-determination. Western Sahara is a disputed territory the size of the United Kingdom, mostly held by Morocco since it passed from Spanish control in the 1970s. The Algeria-backed Polisario Front fought for independence for the Sahrawi people until a ceasefire with Morocco in 1991. Many Sahrawi have been living here in exile in Algeria's remote refugee camps for decades, waiting for a UN-backed referendum on self-determination. But the vote's been repeatedly postponed. And when the former US president, Donald Trump, accepted Moroccan sovereignty over Western Sahara, the Polisario Front responded by declaring a new war with Morocco. Now Spain says it's being punished for allowing Brahim Ghali to travel there for treatment after Moroccan border guards allowed 10,000 people to cross into the Spanish enclave of Ceuta last month. Spain's Prime Minister Pedro Sánchez accused the Moroccan government of blackmail. The diplomatic fallout continues. Neve Barker, Al Jazeera.